What's up guys, I'm Zihan, welcome back uh, to this tutorial where I'm gonna show you how you can run the, the Elden Ring on the GTX 750. As you can see right now, if you try to run this game on this GPU, it will just crash. Uh, the little trick you can do is uh, basically to copy these uh, files that I created from my own system. If they don't, I will try, I will link them in the description. If they don't work with you, I will show you later on how you can uh, create your own. And the credit to this GitHub uh, link, I follow this uh, tutorial. You will also find it, uh, find it in the description. Anyway, all what you have to do is copy these three files uh, to the eldenrank.exe and you run the game. As you can see, the game did not crash. For the first time, it did take some time to load. Uh, right now, it's very fast. I am running the game on uh, SSD, and the performance is surprisingly really great on this GPU. I'm not sure why they didn't just support it from the get-go. The game is, I will show you again that the game is running on the GTX 750. Here's the MSI after burn. And the game is running with no problems. I'm running it right now using 720p, yes, I think. 720p, of course, the lowest settings. That's why this is on high. Okay, now it's running on the lowest settings. I think the performance in dungeons will be way better. Right now in the open area here, it's very demanding and still runs really great. As you can still lower the resolution from 720 to even to, to 600p, but of course it will not look that great. Um, The game is surprisingly running really great on this GPU. I can't believe it. This GPU is still going strong. Uh, so, if my file doesn't work with you, all what you have to do, let me delete these. They will. All what you need to create, uh, all what you have to do is create your own. You will navigate uh, to C, Windows, System 32, and copy D3D12 and D3D12 core.dll. Copy them and uh, go to game folder. Wait, wait I'm going to delete my the old one and pass them. Go to d3d12.dll and you will, I think you will do this and original and you will navigate to the github link, go to releases and download uh, this uh, file from here, open it with the WinRAR or something similar and copy d3d12 to the game folder. Now you're set, you're ready to go. All you have to do is run the game and which will work just fine. Anyway, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Please do subscribe for more gameplays on this system or tutorials in this case.